It's amazing how franchises like the Steelers, Patriots, and Packers do nothing but win every year. It's even more amazing how a handful of teams seem to do everything wrong. Murphy's Law applies to one-third of the 32 NFL teams. Don't ask us how it got this way, we don't know either. I'm Justin Frack, and today we present the 10 most dysfunctional teams in the NFL right now. At TPS, we post videos every single day, so don't forget to click the subscribe button to subscribe. Then click the notification bell to be notified when we post a new video. Number 10. Dallas Cowboys Always an adventure under owner Jerry Jones. He fired head coach Jimmy Johnson after he led Dallas to two Super Bowl championships in the 90s, but he kept Jason Garrett, employed for nine years, even though the Cowboys have had only two playoff appearances and one playoff win over that span. The Cowboys last reached a conference championship in 1996, and yet Mr. Jones seems to condone mediocrity. He also refuses to take the GM duties away from himself. There's always something wrong in Dallas, whether it's signing terrible humans like Greg Hardy, having key players like Ezekiel Elliott suspended, or other random drama in the organization or the locker room. Number 9. Jacksonville Jaguars The Jaguars were good in 2017. Their fans got to experience what almost making the Super Bowl feels like. But because it's the Jaguars, they follow up an AFC Championship game appearance by being one of the NFL's worst once again in 2018. Super Bowl winning head coach Tom Coughlin has his hands full trying to fix this mess. Jacksonville has had one playoff berth since 2007. Remember previous wasted draft picks like quarterback Blaine Gabbert and wide receiver Justin Blackman? The Jaguars have had better days and by that we mean 20 years ago. Number 8. Miami Dolphins Miami fans were upset when Dan Marino retired after the 1999 season, but little did they know that his retirement would set them on the path for 20 years of dysfunction. There was that infamous Richie Incognito bullying scandal in 2013, where he and multiple Dolphins players harassed teammate Jonathan Martin. Martin felt like he had to step away from football and refused to play for Miami again. Then there was the time that Miami Dolphins fans organized a flying banner that read Fire GM Jeff Ireland. Their last playoff win was in 2000. The Dolphins have been a mediocre team for years, wasting high draft picks and trying to find solutions to ongoing locker room drama. Number 7. San Francisco 49ers Once upon a time, Joe Montana led the Dolphins to four Super Bowl championships in the 80s. And later, Steve Young kept the dynasty going by leading them to a fifth championship in the 1994 season. But the 49ers have been a complete mess for most of the 21st century. Remember when QB Jeff Garcia and Pro Bowl wideout Terrell Owens openly insulted one another to the media? And when the team thought Oregon State coach Dennis Erickson would succeed in the NFL? That was like washing your carpet with your hose. And former head coach Mike Singletary ranting about Vernon Davis for being selfish, saying he only wanted to coach winners. Then comes Jim Harbaugh. He leads San Fran to three straight NFC Championship games, but the players decide they hate Harbaugh so much. He's shown the door after the 2014 season. And the 49ers have been horrible ever since. Number 6. Buffalo Bills Their four straight Super Bowl appearances in the 90s don't seem that long ago, but we are closing in on 30 years since their last trip to the big game. The Bills have been downright horrible for many years now. One playoff berth since 1999, they're up to 10 coaches in the 21st century. Syracuse coach Doug Maroney unexpectedly left the Bills after the 2014 season. The decision to hire Rex Ryan in his place was just one big comedy skit that belonged on SNL. And remember when veteran cornerback Monte Davis removed himself from a 2018 game that announced his retirement because the team was playing so horribly? That's just sad on another level. Number 5. New York Jets Well, there was a time when it looked like the Jets were done being dysfunctional. Gang Green reached the 2009 and 2010 AFC Championship games as Rex Ryan looked like the guy who was about to dethrone Bill Belichick and the New England Patriots. Then the typical dysfunctional stuff happened. The Jets missed the playoffs in 2011, and unnamed players began ripping quarterback Mark Sanchez for being lazy. That led to a locker room circus, and the Jets haven't recovered. Quarterback Geno Smith suffered a broken jaw after getting punched by his own teammate during a confrontation. Brandon Marshall got into a fight with franchise legend Darrell Rivas during a practice in 2016. Players were suspended that year for simply not showing up to team meetings as well. The Jets have been a disastrous franchise for the bulk of the last 40 years now. If they could find a way to clean up the locker room environment, they'd probably stop being so dysfunctional. Number 4. Tampa Bay Buccaneers If the Oakland Raiders had beaten the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in Super Bowl 37, we guarantee that people would have put the Bucs on the same level of dysfunction as the Cleveland Browns. We don't care if they won a championship almost 20 years ago. 
the Buccaneers are a joke of an organization. Young quarterback Jameis Winston has thrown away his career with off-the-field troubles. The Buccaneers were cycled through head coaches like, you know, we can't even come up with a suitable comparison. Tampa hasn't had any direction with their franchise for a while now. All of these top 10 draft picks haven't done anything to help. The team is a mess. Number 3. Oakland Raiders Those three Super Bowl championships sure feel like they happened a long time ago. Oh wait, they did. The Raiders have been a laughing stock for ages. Things are just so sad that Mark Davis gave John Gruden a $100 million contract to come back into coaching. Gruden proceeded to trade away franchise stars Khalil Mack and Amari Cooper. And you know how they say a picture is worth a thousand words? Check out this picture. There's a reason why Oakland has made the playoffs once since 2003. Number 2. Cincinnati Bengals Marvin Lewis has coached the Bengals since 2003. Marvin Lewis has coached the Bengals since 2003. Hey Google, uh, when did Marvin Lewis start coaching the Bengals? January 14th, 2003. Hey Google, stop. According to Get our point. Oh, oh, we have another point we have to make now. You ready for this? Marvin Lewis doesn't have a playoff win. He does not have a playoff win. Vontae's perfect is the dirtiest player in NFL history. Former Bengal Adam Pacman Jones racked up the arrest and suspensions too. And did we mention that the Bengals have employed a coach without a playoff win for a decade and a half? And number one, the Cleveland Browns, of course. They are the most laughed at sports franchise in North America and for good reason. The Browns are so bad that we've had to compile so many video lists on how bad they are. 10 reasons why the Cleveland Browns are the most embarrassing team in sports. 10 biggest draft bust in Cleveland Browns history. 10 hilarious Cleveland Browns blunders that cost them the game it goes on. It's a miracle if a Browns coach manages to last more than one year, but yet Hugh Jackson got two and a half seasons despite winning only three games. Remember when the Browns went 0-16 in 2017? How is that even possible? There are a million reasons why they are so dysfunctional, but at the end of the day, it all stems from their horrible draft choices over the years. Tim Couch, Trent Richardson, Johnny Manziel, it goes on. If Baker Mayfield and Miles Garrett can't save this franchise soon, we think Cleveland should move to another planet. It's becoming too sad to watch. Which do you think is the most dysfunctional NFL team right now? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You know how to do it. See you guys next time.